The world as we know it is filled with suffering, immense pain, and so many circumstances that are beyond our ability to accept. No day is free from struggle. For, as the Bible puts it, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. So much of what goes on every day is beyond us, beyond our mortal control. The only power we have is in how we respond to it. But before we go any further, hit the subscribe button so you stay in touch with us and click the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when our next video comes out. The earlier version of the Serenity Prayer was written by German theologian Reinhold Niebuhr in 1932, and it was distributed during World War II. The prayer, which Niebuhr used in many of his speeches, has been modified over the years and is a staple in many Alcoholics Anonymous materials. The original prayer goes as follows. God, give me grace to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed, courage to change the things which should be changed, and the wisdom to distinguish the one from the other. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking, as Jesus did, this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right. If I surrender to your will, so that I may be reasonably happy in this life, and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. What can we learn from the Serenity Prayer? First, surrender is a place of strength. We are told quite often that we get to choose what happens to us. Surrender is often viewed as a failure and an acceptance of defeat. What the Serenity Prayer tells us, however, is that we have the choice to decide what has the power to control us. Accepting with grace the things we cannot change is a position of trust. It's an admission that while we would love to have total control, we choose instead to accept that God, omniscient and omnipotent, has ultimate control over the things we cannot change. The second is hardship is a path to peace. The human body does not love suffering in any form. We have perfected the art of finding solutions to every problem that demands we stretch the limits of our will. We now have same-day deliveries because we simply want our shopping when we order it, and we have multiple synced notifications so we never have to miss any information or feel left out. This, however, has created in us such turmoil that we are relatively more unhappy than we were back in the 1900s without all this access. What if the path to peace is marred by hardship? What if hardship in its many forms allows us to appreciate the small victories? The Serenity Prayer is a great mirror to Philippians chapter 4, verses 6-7. through seven. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. We would benefit from taking a step back and reflecting on the words of Newber. God delights in giving us peace. It would do us good to whisper these words to our ever-wandering souls and remind our hearts that the Master of the Universe has it all under His control. Is there anything in particular that touched you, or anything else you want to share with others? Share it by writing a comment below. And if not already, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next video.